By the end of this video, you're going to know why you feel so tight and exactly what to do about it. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 24 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on my experience and supported by the scientific literature. So a classic situation is where you are stretching and stretching and stretching and you're stretching for some people stretch for years and they never really feel any better. There's a reason why. But dude, I stretch all the time and I never get any more flexible. What gives? The reality is it's impossible to tell with your pain whether you're actually feeling tight musculature or if your muscles are actually short and there's a big difference. Just because you have pain does not mean you should yank the muscle apart. Now a muscle that is short is usually a chronic problem from non-use or inactivity. A good example of that would be either our hip flexors or our hamstrings. And if you just sit all day and you never actually get up, you never do hip extension, you never extend your knees, those muscles that I mentioned, the hip flexors and the hamstrings, will eventually start to change structurally. And the muscles themselves, the, the myofibrils will not allow range of motion or stretching to occur. This is a situation where a muscle is short and can often benefit from stretching. Now we're gonna contrast that with tightness of a muscle. A tight muscle is not necessarily a short muscle. A tight muscle can occur because of two reasons. The first is because of an increased tone of the muscle and the reason why it has an increased tone is because it's trying to protect you. It's trying to protect you from some type of instability or abnormal joint motion. Or it could be compensating for a muscle that is actually inactive. Again, let's talk about the hamstrings. The hamstrings could be hypertonic or tight. They would feel tight. And the reason they're always contracting and feeling tight is to protect the fact that the glutes are not working. In other words, the hamstrings are compensating for lack of glute activation. Now the second reason why your muscles would feel so tight is because of positional. For example, if there's a misalignment of the pelvis where one side of the pelvis went up and one side went down, this is called an ASIN ilium. So anytime your ilium or your pelvis goes anterior superior or internal, it will actually give a pulling effect of the actual hamstring. I'm going to use this rubber band as an example. Now right now the rubber band is nice and loose, but it has the ability to stretch. However, if my hand up here is the pelvis and down here is the knee and I have an anterior superior or an internally rotated pelvis, it will actually pull on the hamstring just like this. So right now, just to begin with, you can see that the hamstring is actually tight from a positional problem. Now what's fascinating about this, if you've kept up so far with me, the hamstrings in particular can either be chronically tight or chronically short. There's multiple reasons why you would have this type of discomfort and I'm going to tell you exactly what to do for this. Hey, by the way, if you like this information so far, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, it's totally free, and hit that bell notification. And you know we always need more cowbell. So the solution is this. You're going to have to determine if you have a short muscle or a tight muscle. And quite frankly, without you having an exam by someone who's experienced with this, you're simply not going to know because all you're going to feel is a discomfort in that area. So what's the solution? Here's what I would recommend. You're going to use something called the process of elimination and we're going to pick one without drinking the Kool-Aid and getting all upset if it doesn't work. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to choose one and I would recommend to choose shortness first. So what that means is you're going to assume the muscle is actually short and we're going to start stretching the muscle. The best solution to do this is to take that muscle into a stretched position and hold that position for two minutes and you're going to do it twice a day for a number of weeks, maybe two to three weeks. At the end of two to three weeks, you're going to be assessing yourself and you're going to think to yourself, did I actually notice improvement? Not do you want improvement, but 
do you actually notice any improvement? If you do, fantastic. Then it's likely that you have a short muscle and stretching will continue to improve your situation. But let's be realistic for a moment. Rather than jumping on the stretching bandwagon, what if two to three weeks go by and you are not feeling really that much better? You're not feeling the way you want, but every YouTuber and every vlog Everybody says stretching is the panacea for everything and you believe it, that's what I meant by drinking the Kool-Aid. Maybe you should just reassess and think to yourself, well, it really isn't working for me. Maybe it's possible now we're gonna, instead of thinking that our muscle is short, we're gonna assume the muscle is tight. So now, what do you do for it? But in the case of the hamstrings, if your muscles are actually tight, whether they have an increased tone because they're trying to protect a instability or they're trying to uh, protect a joint problem or they're hypertonic because of a sciatica or it's a positional problem. Regardless of that, what you're going to do is short range muscular contractions to actually strengthen the muscle. And this sounds counterintuitive because the muscle is tight, but you have to understand it's not short it's tight, it's contracting chronically to try to do something and accomplish something. So you see, your body's actually pretty smart. So in this particular case, you could either do leg curls or you could do gym ball curls, whichever way you want to do it, but you're not going to fully extend your knee all the way and you're not going to fully contract the muscle, you're going to contract it within a short range of motion. What you're actually doing in this situation is you are actually facilitating and assisting the body in trying to accomplish what it itself is trying to accomplish. So in other words, you're not fighting your body, you're actually helping your body doing what it's already trying to do naturally. So this is the reason why you always feel tight. If you have actually a true short muscle, then what you'll find is stretching, quite frankly, is going to help you a lot. However, if you've drank the Kool-Aid and think that stretching is supposed to help you and you're just not sure why it's not working and you keep looking for more stretches and they don't seem to be helping you, then you have to maybe jump ship and actually think to yourself, maybe it's not a short muscle. Maybe it is a tight muscle that has increased tone because of an instability or a nerve problem or a joint problem or it's trying to uh, react to a positional problem. The main thing there when you have that is you want to, number one, correct the problem and actually help the body facilitate what it's already trying to doing by doing strengthening exercises. And if you correct the cause as well as increase the strength, that tightness that you felt forever, magically, goes away.